Riley Sorolla coming at you with a new food review. Today, I'm in Bath and I'm going to be showcasing a place called The Herd right here on Argyle Street. Stay tuned because at the end of this episode, I'm going to let you know whether to give this place a hit or a miss. Boom. <music> Welcome my fellow Cerulians. So I'm here in Bath and I'm inside the steakhouse called The Herd. So um, yeah, the miss is spoiling me. She's spoiling me rotten guys. So like obviously man's gonna have a field day here. Order all sorts. In fact, we've already ordered. So I've gone for the porterhouse steak. It's 10 ounces. No, is it 10 ounces? Was it 12? 16 ounces, so it's quite a hefty uh, steak. Got a medium, got some chunky chips, some mash, and oh yeah, we've got some starters, three starters. So it was li chicken liver, calamari, and what was the third one? Uh, uh, grilled halloumi. So um, yeah, right now I've got my ginger beer by Fenomans. Very refreshing. I'm really, really starving today because literally haven't eaten anything since breakfast and it's now 8.53. So yeah, doors were in. I think it's that time, guys, to go to the little boy's room and show you exactly what state it's in. Let's go. Yeah, it's very clean in here. Smells very, very fresh. It's quite small though, one urinal, one cubicle, and a wash area. But yeah, smells really clean in here. It's a weird setup though, because this cubicle, as you can see, you can see over there, it's not fully enclosed. So like, obviously, if you want to do your business, uh, yeah, you might have an audience. But uh, other than that, smells really fresh, clean. I like it. Anyway. Time to go back to the diner space, which is downstairs, because I am starving. Let's go, guys. What made me choose the yeah. Um I was just doing research on good places to go to eat in Bath, and came up. It was up there actually. So, because I picked Italian for yesterday, I thought let's do something a bit different. We haven't had steak in a while as well, even in London. So I thought, yeah, maybe steak would be a good choice. So the first thing I'm going to sample is their uh, calamari, which looks very crumbly, I must say. Served with aioli. Not the best calamari I've had, it's alright. This doesn't really taste like aioli to me. Try it with some lemon, lemon juice. Oh, that's better. Yeah, that's better. So the lemon really brings, brings out the flavor. We've got this crusty roll. Wow, super dry, but I guess Probably go with the chicken liver. I've not tried chicken liver before. I wasn't expecting it to be like a spread. First time for everything, right? Tastes quite sweet. Almost citrusy. It's weird. 
Wow. It goes well with the bread. It's a grilled halloumi with rocket. Quite lukewarm right now. Definitely, I would say my favorite. Surprisingly, is the calamari. I did say it's, it's standard. It's not like amazing calamari, but it is my favorite starter here. The chicken liver, it's a bit weird. I'll show you what it looks like. This is how it's, uh, it's almost like a, a paste and like a spread. You just spread it on your butter. Sorry, did I say spread it on your butter? Spread it on your bread. So we've got some mash, we've got some twice cooked chips, got some sauteed potatoes. Try these sauteed potatoes. Got a porthouse steak, which kind of looks like a T bone steak because it's got the T bone. Looks very juicy. Right. Moment of truth. So we've got it cooked medium. flavor very juicy a bit fatty which is normal with a, for porterhouse just like a t-bone has fat right on the edges adds a lot of flavor to the steak itself very very juicy super delicious try the um, sauteed potatoes so basically they are baked and then they're fried yeah that's a lot of flavor too now, I've had a look at this um, peppercorn sauce. It, it don't look right, guys. Like the color just looks a bit weird. But all the peppercorn sauces that I've seen in my time, they're like more of a brownish tinge. Yeah, so it uh, doesn't look right, but. I'll try a bit of it. It does have the peppercorn right at the bottom. Sinks to the bottom. And some mash. This mash looks very creamy. It's a little bit more work because you've got to trim off the fat. So, moment of truth with the peppercorn sauce. It's all right. Tastes a little bit different. Oh, the mash. Mash is really, really nice. So got a lot of potatoes, sauteed potatoes, mashed potatoes, twice cooked chips. Oh, those are nice. They don't need any salt. I'll just add some black pepper. Good. I'm, I'm really happy with my meal. Um, there isn't really much more to say. I think the, the peppercorn sauce is a bit different, but for me, it's still doable. It's got lots of peppercorns at the bottom. Just dab it on the dashboard. Sorry, did I say dashboard? I meant chopping board. The mash is super, super creamy. I think that's my favorite potato today. You know what? You've heard enough from me. You need to hear it from the missus because obviously she chose this place. But she looks really busy right now. Like she's stopping her face. I don't think she really wants to speak to the camera. I don't think she wants to speak to you, Cerulean. She just wants to stop her face. Isn't that right? No? No, oh, she's fronting. Well, I'm going to pass it over to her. Live at the her. Yeah, so what can I say? I'm really enjoying the meal. Um, my favourite bit of the meal is, of course, the steak. I went for porterhouse steak. 
um, well done. Very nice. Very. I thought I was a bit skeptical because I thought it'd be full of fat, but the fat is only at the sides of the face, so I can easily just cut the sides off. Yeah, very very flavorful. I'm enjoying it, and it was very big. But this is all that's left, so I'm almost done with my food. But yeah, good choice. Have to come here, guys. The Rolian. All right, so let's talk about the herd. So starting with taste, um, the starters, for me, they were a bit weak. They were a bit lacking. And the chicken liver, um, it was a bit weird. It, it tasted all right, but it was a little bit weird for me in terms of the consistency. And it, it, just, it, just, it just was weird seeing it all blended in a smooth paste almost like peanut butter but their mains were actually really good um so we both got the i can't even remember what it's called it's similar to a t-bone what well, it looks like a t-bone but it's thicker um i can't remember what it was called porterhouse yes it was called the porterhouse very very nice very very tender very very juicy went very well with the peppercorn sauce um, didn't like the fact that they charged for the peppercorn sauce, but hey. Um, all the potatoes were amazing. The sautéed potatoes, the mashed potatoes, the chunky chips, they were all, all delicious. It was just potato heaven going on right there. Absolutely loved it. I didn't try the vegetables. That was something that Tolls had ordered um, and it didn't really look appealing to me and she barely touched it. So I'm going to go ahead and say that that was kind of dead too. Um, the sticky toffee pudding, that was absolutely delicious. Sorry I didn't actually review that for you guys, but it was actually amazing. Uh, clean the plate, absolutely delicious. So on that basis, I'm going to give taste. Even though starters were weak, it ended very well. So yeah, I'm going to give taste a 4 out of 5. Customer service, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. Uh, a few times we had to you know, weigh around a little bit to get the, uh, the staff's attention. Um, but food didn't take long to be delivered and everything was served piping hot. I will give customer service an average score of three and a half out of five. So the toilet space was good. Didn't have a look in the kitchen, but the dining space was good as well. Nothing looked out of place. It was in a good condition. So on that basis, I'm going to give cleanliness Again, an average score of three and a half out of five. This restaurant was of a decent size. It was, it was down in the basement. So, you know, you go into the restaurant, go through the doors and you go down the stairs. If you're trying to get some phone calls, well, good luck with that. It's not really gonna work because it's in a basement and the reception is pretty poor down there. But um, aside from that, it was a decent space. The seating arrangement was sensible. So on that basis, I'm gonna give Ambience a three and a half out of five. Now, we all know how steaks can be very expensive and steakhouses, you know, they can go wild with the bill. We really did enjoy ourselves. We ordered a lot of food, but the bill came to 106 pounds and that included service charge. So we ordered like the most expensive steak on the menu. We ordered three types of chips. We ordered vegetables, we ordered a, a dessert, we ordered three different starters. Obviously we ordered drinks. We only ordered soft drinks, by the way. We didn't order any alcohol, so it was free soft drinks. I think, I think that's pretty decent for a steakhouse. I, I wouldn't say it's excellent, but I think it's pretty good. So for value, I think I would give this space a four out of five. Would I recommend this space? Yes, I would definitely recommend this space. Um, it's not mind blowing, but it's good. It is actually really good. And if you're in the mood for steak, I would definitely come here if you're in Bath. So that's going to be the end of this review. If you like the video, you know what to do. Give it a like, comment below, share the video. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I make videos every single week. So till next time, peace. Whoa.